Hey, what's up? Welcome back to uh, this new video. This one is paper 5.1 of A-Level Math for S1 paper. Now, with that being said, let's move on to the questions that I have for you today. Now, let's move on to question number one. So here we have a probability distribution table for a random variable x is shown below. So we have this table right here. So obviously, we have to use the table to find your answers. Now, given that E of x, expectation of x is equal to 0 0.28. Okay. Now we have to use that to find the values of P and Q. So first thing first, we should know right away that from the table itself, if you were, if you were to add everything here, all these values, you're supposed to get one for their sum. That's the first thing you should know because the, the total of the probabilities should be one. So let's use that to form an equation. So first thing first, we have 0 0.12 plus P plus q plus 0 0.16 plus 0 0.3 has to be the value of 1. Now let's try to rearrange. I have p plus q. Send everything else to the right hand side. You will have 1 minus 0 0.12 minus 0 0.16 minus 0 0.3. That will become 0 0.42. And that is my equation number 1. Now, now we have to use this one. Given that the expectation of x is equal to 0 0.28. Now, the main point is you have to know how do you find this. So usually we use a formula to find this. It is what? It is the summation of x and then p of x equal to x. What it means is we have to add this times this plus this times this plus so and going on. That's what it means. So we have to take minus 2 times 0 0.12 plus summation, summation plus minus 1 times p plus 0 0.5 times q plus 1 times 0 0.16 and 2 times 0 0.3 and we know all this will give you the value of 0 0.28 according to your question. So now we can simplify. So here you have minus 0 0.24 minus p plus 0.5q plus 0.16 plus 0.6 is equal to 0.28. Let's try to uh, play with this or rearrange. You will have 0.5 minus p is equal to 0.28 minus 0.6 minus 0.16 and then plus 0.24. That will be minus 0 0.24 as your answer for this one over here right let's try one more time so we have 0 0.28 let me first add everything over here i have minus 0 0.24 plus 0 0.16 plus 0 0.6 then will be this 0 0.28 minus answer should become this and this is my equation number two so now we have this equation and this equation so obviously we have to solve these ones simultaneously to find the values of p and q so let me make uh, p become subject so p as subject will be the value of 0 0.42 minus q replace p by this that will be 0 0.5 q minus p should be 0 0.42 minus q is equal to minus 0 0.24 0 0.5 q minus 0 0.42 plus q is equal to minus 0 0.24. That will become 1.5. Q is the value of 1. Minus plus 0 0.42, that should become 0 0.18. Therefore, Q is the value of this divided by 1.5 should be 0 0.12. That's for Q. Now, let's find the value of P. P should be replaced back in here. 0 0.42 minus 0 0.12 that should be 0 0.3 so finally we found the values of p should be 0 0.3 and q 0 0.12 here you go again the main point is we have to know if you add all the probabilities together you're supposed to get one for the total and then we are supposed to know how to find this. We have to use the formula here, which is basically the summation of this times this plus this times this plus and so on until the end. 
is supposed to give you the value over here given by the question. Now, of course, simplify, we have to find these two equations and then solve simultaneously to find the values of, of P and Q. That is your question number one. The description below and click on this link to access the Patreon page for the full video. With that being said, good luck and thank you for watching.